Hello everyone, uh, my name is Andrew. Uh, so today we will talk about uh, difference between Drupal 9 and Drupal 10. Um, yeah, so let's start. I would like to uh, separate that for three different categories. Uh, what related to, first of all, what related to installation, what the difference, then uh, what the difference for uh, site builders, and uh, then we will talk about what the difference in the code. So let's start. Uh, about installation, um, basically, uh, if you work it with uh, uh, last Drupal 9 version, then the, you shouldn't have any problems with installation. Only what you can have that your composer have uh, too old version, uh, and you will be required to update the composer to the latest version, which are required by Drupal 10. Also, um, if you're using uh, some uh, Docker boxes, uh, you will need to check if that Docker box is using correct PHP version. Uh, for example, right now Drupal 10 required 8.1 uh, PHP and because uh, there was replacement of uh, Symfony, but about this we'll talk later. That's basically, that's it about uh, installation process. Um, what led it to site building and site builders work? Um, in general, there was uh, two major updates that um, uh, Drupal 10 will have by default another admin uh, theme it calls uh, Claro. Uh, it was replacement of 7. Um, I think if you again using Drupal 9 latest version, that's uh, admin team already also use it by default, so you shouldn't have any problems to work with Drupal. Also, in the same time, they updated uh, a global theme, uh, so they are now using uh, Olivero a global theme instead of uh, Bartik. Uh, again, if you just started your project uh, in near past, then uh, uh, you already realize it, that in Drupal 9 Lattice version the sim Oliver also installed by default. So I think you should not have again then any problems. But and also we always uh, when working on some project we always replacing a global theme with some custom theme and, and so on. And from other admin interface uh, there are no update so far. Uh, maybe some models was moved from core to country, which are have uh, small amount of usage. And I think basically that's it. Um, let's switch to point number three, uh, code updates. It was obvious that the deprecated code was deleted uh, in Drupal 10. Also, as I said before, Symfony was updated. Uh, the major version of Symfony was updated from 4 to 6 and uh, uh, that's why it's also required new PHP version 8.1. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, just a couple words if, it's, if we should start right now, uh, update our Drupal 9 project to Drupal 10. I think it's uh, a bit... Uh, um, too early to do that because um, in projects uh, which we are working on, there are a lot of a lot of country models, and not all of them have updated info file, have updated that dependency to Drupal 9, to Drupal 10. Sorry. So and um, I think right now we have some problems and issues to update your composer with some patches which are included that to Drupal 10 dependency, and I think it's too much overhead here so let's cup uh, let's wait a couple weeks and i think it's will be ready very soon thank you very much for your attention i'll see you in the next video comments like subscribe bye bye